guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final four episodes of Blue Lock. Yeah, you're probably wondering, um, because originally 21 and 22 were supposed to come out last week. I had a little issues and some stuff, um, and I didn't realize that we were that freaking close to the end. So I just said, well, instead of releasing 21 and 22 this week and then 23 and 24 the following week, I was like, let me just go ahead and nip it in the butt now and finish this today. And honestly, I am really excited to see how this is going to end. I am very curious. Um, it could end on a cliffhanger and such. There's a lot of things that they really could do for these last four episodes and such. Of course, this match with my bae, Ren. He go, he go left me soggy all over the floor. That's all. That's all. We all know it's going to happen. As much as I want him to win. Rin already is fucking winning. Regardless. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and get started with episode 21 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Well, damn, Ego, you ain't gotta be mean. Right? <laughs> Oh my god, just, oh my god, skip. The opening, like, ah! Uh.
Yeah, but the thing is, Rin is always one step ahead of you, baby. Isagi, come on now. Furious. <laughs> Ah, oh, like it's so beautiful. Oh, go, Jeannie. Yeah, but baby's still one. Nah, he's still gonna find a way out. Just gonna take that shot. Yeah, you're all just puppets. <laughs> that makes three. Your movie soggy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
Yeah, but I feel like somebody is gonna come under you, babe. No, pass it. Pass it. Yeah, but Rain. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, what do you mean by how? Once again, he's always one step ahead of you. Once again, you might as well just go ahead and admit defeat. Unless this is all part of your plan. See, you say that, babe, and then watch. It's gonna happen again, and again, and then you're gonna lose, and then they're gonna swoop you up like candy. Fortunately, yes, yeah, Nagi. <laughs> the look.
Oh. Oh. Every picture, every little part of my man. Hallelujah. But just imagine if those two were on the same side instead of going opposites. You feel alone now. Because, like, let me ask y'all, how long y'all been playing this match? Like, shit, I know y'all be tired as hell. So, at least they gotta end this by next episode. Um...
I'm not either because it is a chance for them to get a free score, and that means they'll be one step ahead of you, and you could possibly lose. <sighs> Once again, this show is so nerve-wracking. I fell for him. I truly do. But yeah, let's be a little realistic right now. We're at, we're at four to three. I felt like this match is going to end in this next episode. And of course, he's talking and then we'll lose. Now, whoever Rin would take, to me, like... Uh, the one he's possibly going to warm up the most to and immediately take is Isagi. Mainly because Isagi, once again, he is our main character. He is the one who we're going to see. Oh, shoot, excuse me. The whole entire oh my gosh, um, POV of this series. So it makes the most sense. And plus he is the most legible with his skills and everything. Yes, I would have loved it if he took Chiggity or Nagi or even bottle but something tells me he's going to be like all right bought you that i'll take your boyfriend get your boyfriend and let's go but once again the fact that he is always one step ahead of Isagi, like mm, baby can't win you can't win i mean you could just literally in my opinion if it was me i'd be four fan i'd be like fuck it we can end my journey here i don't even need to try Ugh. I'd be like, fuck that. Fuck that. Like, what? what is there a re Why is there a reason for him to try anymore? If he ever... He, look, the first time you got his ass beat. And I get it. Isagi just wants to get his boyfriend back once the fuck again. But still... Boy. The odds are not in your favor. question is who's all left <clears throat> oh they're already gone I mean, since you probably are the only ones left. Right? Or, you know, someone's trash is someone else's treasure. And it's like this. Because we are so, once again, down to the wire and seeing all who is left. Like, we're there. Okay. Number one, I feel like we're, we're going to see who all is left. Like, who all made it into the essential five groups at least by episode 24 24 
23, 24, I was about to say 25, um, out of this. As I've said in, like, my previews for 19 and 20, there are some characters, especially in Team Z, where I'm, like, I initially can see them surviving. And then there are ones that were favorites that, unfortunately, are not going to survive or they've already officially fallen out and such. Like, um... I think it's Kunigani. Like, he, he's top tier for me. Like, I literally want to see him in a group. Um, but because of the fact that we have not seen him since, you know, Isagi has gone against him and, you know, not uh, Chigiri and Riddle, we're wondering what the heck they're up to and such. And that's why I do like to, the fact that we do get to see, like, these end credit moments because we get to see how everybody else is doing. But still, at the same time, it is very nerve-wracking because you don't know how everyone truly is and such. And with a 20-minute, 24- to 20-minute episode, you are like, yes, you're stressed about the match, but then you're also stressed about who all is currently working together in a group and who is going to make it to the end of it. Who knows? I might end up being really shocked by the last, like, few episodes, but... <sighs> Excuse me. Go ahead and pause video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 22. <laughs> Alrighty, episode 22 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Right? The first spot spell. Oh, poor baby. Oh. The fact that still chicken even try them was so <laughs> baby.
right? We don't want that. Oh my god. Right? We gotta be on it like Please fucking make it home. Back kick. Exactly, and they would have got the score, and that would have been done. But good job, though!
Yeah, you need something else. And I feel like you're gonna get it by the end of this episode. Yeah, cause <laughs> baby is like I ain't fucking losing. <laughs> Ren is like I I refuse to be this kid's bitch. <laughs> Nice. You gotta do something, Bachita. <laughs> Oh my god! No, no, no. Wouldn't get you if you really wanted to. Well, baby, you gotta think of something quickly. See, no. While y'all doing this, Bajan is about to come up. <laughs> Then if you don't want to, you gotta do something fast, baby. Oh. Excuse me.
Of course he will. Come on now. Look at him. He's running towards it. Who's going to be in the way? <laughs> Once again, as I said, Rudy refuses to be someone's bitch. You got this. Go! You gotta do it on your own. The fact that he's also acknowledging this, like, oh. That's baby branching out. I mean, because we only have, we have five minutes left before this episode is done. If y'all don't do anything, y'all are going to lose. And here comes Rain. <laughs> Watch that.
Preeti is about to make this winning shot. I'm sorry. Oh. None of you can. Motherfucker, come we <laughs> come on. I mean, come on. It would have made sense, but no. Isaki is not gonna let that go. Isaki is like, look, I'm not letting my boyfriend win. <laughs> I'm not about to be my boyfriend's bitch either. You got three guys on here who don't want to be bitches to the guys. Like, oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I love, once again, these really botches episodes are probably the best. I mean, for, for the second half of this show, because initially, like, Chiggity, top tier, like, with his backstory. I mean, mm, was not expecting that for best boy Chiggity, but, like, when, when that came, woo! But... Mm, everybody's backstory, honestly, has been really good i should not be sleepy oh my god but i am i'm ready to go to bed <laughs> but um okay they really push in this they really stretch in this they're literally like yeah no you're gonna find out by 23 so now we're gonna have to wait another like 20 something minutes just to see how this outcome is and they're gonna both go back and forth and such i'm not mad at that but dang because I, I was kind of wondering, I was like, well, if they win, what the heck is episode 23 and 24 about to even be about? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Yes, because Rin does without even trying. He just sees everything. Everything. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot. <laughs> But, I mean, seriously, Bachida's monster gives me feels of just, like, almost this inner demons in a way. Where it's just, yes, he's relied on it for the longest time that so many people that he's wanted to try to be friends with have instantly stepped away from him. And so to have this breakdown moment in the middle of a match is a little messed up because it's like you know we're we're in a situation of what i like to say life and death in their careers 
and such. This could be the beginning or the end of your career, as we've known from the beginning of this series. And so, it, it, out of all the times to have a depressing breakdown moment, he it, it chooses right then and there in the previous episode, continuing on into this episode for him to have this moment and to freak out and being like, what am I truly living for? Like, I've had this quote-unquote monster with me since the beginning and I've lost sight of who I am because I've always been, you know, any other one, who, any other person who is like me, that is the initiative who I'm going to go for. And so, but because Isagi and everyone else around him is evolving and he feels like he's being left behind, he has to be like, okay, what the fuck can I do about myself in this moment? He, he's questioning everything about himself. And so honestly, I get it. It is really good for him to question himself. But in the middle of a match, it is a little messed up. But I get it because of the fact that we are so close. And the fact is, he hit that close. This close to like Isagi winning and him freaking out and being like very regretful and such in that moment. You better thank God Rin came in and did what he did. Because once again, Rin does not want to be a bitch to anybody. <laughs> really. So Rin also wants to do everything in his power to win this match over really because of the situation of between him and his brother. Now, they really have, of course, they have not touched on that yet. But when I initially found out that those two were brothers, and I was like, okay, that's the only thing that Ren kind of really sees now, is trying to either be better, like, be the same level as his brother, or to eventually dethrone his brother. Because who knows? I don't really, we don't know how much I, you know, playing style is he is how much he really is valuable or worth so hopefully within these next two episodes that we will conclude this series maybe we get a little sneak peek i mean yes we got to see him in the first half but really that was just him doing pubis not publicly not promotional work and such and only really having talkable moments so if they wanted to do like holograms or like anything of players then yes that is that would be a really good time to have him come in and then yes to see Rin really be pissed off because of course he really does not um like his brother like that which it really does suck but it really I, I hope that with season two we do get a little more context on that because the fact is you you're leaving it up to of course yes to read the manga and being like oh you have to find out in here to see but at the same time as an anime only it could be so many things like it could be oh yes when they were kids they were you know very much in love with soccer and they did it for each other but due to maybe something maybe you know when um his older brother was playing a match and he lost Maybe he felt a lot of guilt and da, da 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 and so he took it out on Rin. There's a lot of things. It literally could be anything. But of course, I'm not going to know until whenever the hell we get season two. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 23. Alright, episode 23 in 3, 2, 1, go. It's just poor baby was doing all that ish. It ain't real life. This doggy was coming to get him.
That's it. Damn. Honestly, really good game, you guys. <sighs> You sure about that? Oh? Okay, it makes the most sense to take you, Saki. I had to leave Chibi and Doggy and Muddle. Baby, you got picked because of that last little moment. You're right about that, but it automatically went to Rin. Meaning that once Rin got that damn ball, Game, set, and match. I just want them now to go back and get cooking in the middle, and that's it! Right. Right. It would have been nice to have Cheeky the other team. No. Right. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
There you go. There you go. Don't always lean on someone else. Don't ever let anyone continuously hold your hand. You have to do it on your own. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Not all the time. True, you are right about that.
Because it could have gone to anyone else, but it went to Rin. Already? It's really pretty here. I wonder, I mean, how much did Ego have to pay them to come here? We already know they're about to get their ass beat. I mean, yes, they are good. But look at that, these five, mm -mm. no match, hands down. So he's practicing still. <laughs> yeah, what did he what really happened? How was it an awkward slash healthy relationship? Once again, we need more context clues. <laughs> Sir, with one hand. Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. Right? Who would have fucking thought Isagi? Cause damn.
Yeah. As boyfriends for you. <laughs> the fact that these two are probably about to train all fucking night. Probably go to sleep in like the wee hours of the morning. Be like, yes, okay. But yes, I feel fun for Nagi, Chiggity, and Bottle because they have to go back a stage and they have to start with the three of them. <sighs> Well, damn. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ooh, struck that nerve. Are you serious? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait. No, 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 no. Woo! That's the fu the fucking seventeen year old. Oh my god. Nice. This 17 year old is scaring the shit out of me because what the hell is he capable of? He is the youngest out of those five. So who knows once again what he is capable of? Oh, <laughs> you missed your boy toy.
<laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> was kind of the glue that holds them all together and such as you can see because he did everything I mean between putting cheaty stuff in a certain place to going get food with Nagi and then also like talking with the laundry with Muddle like of course he did everything and now that he's gone th this group that they had it's shambling is falling apart and so it's like damn like can y'all really pick it up before this last episode but yeah the youngest the freaking 17 year old man i would definitely watch out for him because um he looked like he built a little different in my opinion you never fucking know i mean you regardless with this series from what i have learned you always want to watch out for anybody who gets that new bit of screen time and such when rin finally got his screen time he was the biggest one to watch out for anybody who came in in the second half because <sighs> we all know rin is built different and now like having finally to talk about his brother in this episode and seeing how that really struck a chord with him in this like boy when we get a little more contact on that like i'm gonna be so freaking happy but to go against professionals that are probably doing this like like i like i said they're getting money for this so they're either going to do a half-assed job or they're really going to go on this Especially with how much Ego is paying them. Like, if he's paying them a lot of fucking money, then they're going to be like, yeah, we're going all out on this. I mean, especially for a damn 17-year-old. <laughs> I can't. This last episode can end any freaking way. Anyway. And I'm truly scared to watch it. But we're going to go ahead and get started on that. But pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. All right. Final episode in three, two, one, go. Oh my god, Red.
<laughs> uh, um, what you mean? No, I Shit, I would be. Yeah, but come on. Oh my god! They're all built different. They are all built different. These ain't your average kids. <laughs> If y'all are gonna fail, everybody's failing during this. There is no way in hell any one of y'all is defeating World 5. They already got freaking three points! See, that's fine. They're at four! Hello! N n goodbye. Good fucking bye. Oh, Ren. Oh, my God. The fucking fancy footwork shit. Mm. Oh, shit. They had no fucking chance. No, god dang, seriously, where you get all this money? Hey, I mean, seriously, some of y'all are a little dumb to invest in this man. I mean, seriously, y'all might be in debt by the end of this.
like at least you got one point against them. So I would definitely be proud of that. my life. Oh well, yeah, especially against him. Wednesday? Poor baby, like, uh, but it makes sense because he's the only good one. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you have an English interview, you have to learn. So we're, we're going to find out who all passed. Oh, God, I'm scared. I hope so. Some of them, not all. Right about that. Thank God. Woo! Woo! Ah!
Literally no one who I remember. Oh, he pretty. No one I don't recognize. But they look very cool. It would have been nice to see how everybody else went against No World 5. They have to be here. There's only three.
AKA all 35 of them. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this too much. But Kalina. <laughs> oh my fucking god. But but Kalina. Kalina. My baby. He's gone. Okay, so initial final thoughts on this. This was super freaking good. I can now see why everyone truly liked this. As someone who only, once again, only watched the first two and initially loved it myself, to finally see episode three to the end of this series, this was pretty damn good. Yes, I get the, the overstretching on some of the episodes, especially from 21 to 23. I get it, but damn, I'm just, I'm sad now. I feel kind of empty now that I'm done with this and such, because who knows when the rest of this is going to conclude and continue. But... I'm happy for some of my boys, for majority of my boys. But I'm sad at the same time, too. There's so many, like, that literally got cut. I me. Are you kidding me? What the absolute fuck? I mean, he was number one for me to literally being on a team. And the fact that Reto got chosen over him, what? The, uh, how? But I think it's it's just, and I and I kind of thought of it maybe a little bit more, and especially when you're thinking of his character, and because, all right, I, once again comparing him to Ichigo and stuff, because hell, we all did it when the show started. Um, his 
situation of his message of heroism and such and being the quote-unquote good guy and everything, um, especially when we had the match of Isagi and versus Chickeny and them, um, you could still see that all over him and such. And he wants to be this quote-unquote good guy and such. And in this game of soccer in this sport, any other type of sport, sometimes you cannot be the good guy. Sometimes you have to be dirty and you have to play bad and such and not like others. Yeah, you're not always going to play fair. And I think, you know, he came into this thinking that everybody was going to pay, play fair. Especially with freaking, okay, Kuan, does, does nobody remember Kuan and his bullshit? Of leaking shit about Team Z to other freaking players? Come on now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy he didn't make it through. Because I really didn't want... He was the number one dude, even though I liked him in the beginning at first, who I was like, I do not want to see him move on. But thinking of the ones who are now not here, I mean, they. it seems like it, it was a big chunk, really, for anybody. And it's like, damn. But all these new guys, though, especially the last one, when the heck did he pop up? Like... Of course, this is the first time we're seeing him in this episode. But seriously, there's so many freaking new guys who just popped up out of nowhere and be like, where the hell did you come from? What what team was you on during this situation? Or did y'all just come in to come in? I mean, seriously. But it makes me now wonder, like, because with Kunigani, he, he's done. There, What else can you do for him? He's walking towards the exit. So where else is he going? His career is over. So what the heck is going to happen now? I just, I, I need the next thing. I think, like, from what what I heard, I think when this show officially ended um, for season one, that, it, yeah, it's getting a movie and that it is getting a second season. So I'm guessing the under 20, or the, no, the U20 arc is going to be the movie and then whatever the next arc is after the U20 arc that is season two so probably whatever the hell that is coming out um it would be nice if they um essentially do a like kind of not worldwide but <laughs> where of course you get some airings in Japan and then you get showtimes here or just anywhere where we can go to the movie theater and see it because like I, I would like that because I got to see that with JJK so hopefully that happens because if not then whatever the heck it does get subbed by someone that is what I'll be able to watch the damn movie but I mean now I mean mmm Now's kind of a time where I could literally just say fuck it and read the manga, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to be, you know, patient, <laughs> the keyword, and just take my time and wait. I mean, I have been tempted before on series and wanting to read them, especially however the show ends and, you know, the confirmation of season two or whatever else, and you're just like, yes, but I need to know, like, the answers now. I'm, I'm in that moment, but at the same time, I feel like I could wait. If I really wanted to, I could always still just look up videos about this series to give, like, quote-unquote recaps of everything and such. Um, because, of course, you know, some people always don't really have that time and the patience of to wait for certain chapters and situations. They want those answers like A.S. Mother Effing P. And this is kind of one of those situations. But I think I can definitely wait it out. I, I, I really think I can. I can trust myself to wait it out. But yeah, this was really good. I mean, you know, I don't think it was very underrated. It, it was pretty much like on par and everything. But damn. This is good, and I hate the fact that we're finally, I'm finally done with this, but at the same time, like, now that I am officially done with this, like, what the absolute fuck? <laughs> just, I hate the fact that I'm done with this, because I'm like, uh, oh, I wish it could just continue on, but of course, no! But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of season one a blue lock if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join my squad and of course i will see you guys whenever the hell the movie comes out so i'm guessing 
we're in 2023 now, so I can see the movie coming out within the next year. So I would say more of 2024 or 2025. And then season two about mid-25 going on to 26, maybe. Because um, we know, of course, with the situation... With with our situation here in America, of course, that does not affect everything in Japan, um, even though I have talked to people and such and having their various disputes about what is currently going on and the writer's situation and stuff and how some people say with certain things that are like of the manga, well, anime situations in Japan and such. But yeah, I think really right now they're going to hopefully, I really, whoever is animating this series, they all get a break because God, they work their ass off on this. I think my one little problem I did have, um, but I was okay with it, it, the CGI. That was my only little nitpick. Everything else was still good. But I think right now they need a break they need to all take a chill pill, calm down from this high that they have, and relax, and then come back when they're ready to be better than ever and such. So yeah, I can see the movie and season two coming out in the next, like, couple of years. At least before, like, mid-2030, so yeah, at least by 2025. So yeah, like, two years from now. Yeah, I can see that, definitely. But it, it's really at the end of the day. It's up to them. Who knows? They they might be work um, working the heck out of them, just like MAPPA or any other studio where if you get something that is a hit and it's hot as fuck and everyone loves it, you're going to be chugging that train to complete everything that you can in a limited time and so if it means overworking you're definitely going to be overworked and as I stated with even with situations that are going on with the company I'm working for that is our new normal and unfortunately it just sucks but yeah until then I will see you guys all next time bye